So finally we have the iPad version of the Godot engine. This is a whole video game engine in your iPad. So I don't want you to overthink all these menus and all these buttons. And instead, let me walk you through a very small and super easy project that will teach you the basics of Godot engine in less than three minutes. Create a 3D scene. Click the plus button to add a new node. Add a light. Select the plus button again and add a camera. Select the plus button one more time. Add a box as a mesh renderer. To change the properties of the object, you need to open the inspector tab. To do so, select the target button on the top right corner. Now to change the object color, for example, select surface material override. Pick resource. New, new standard material 3D. Open albedo and change the color. Now let's add a script to make the box rotate on the y-axis. On the top left corner, select the paper light button. This will add a script to the currently selected object. The first line, extend mesh instance 3D. Tell us that this code is attached to object type mesh instance 3D. Then you have the ready function and the process function. They are equal to start and update functions in Unity Engine. The first one contains things that happen once in the start of the scene, while the second contains things that happen every frame. So in the process function, I want you to write rotate underscore y open round bracket delta close round bracket. This line of code will make your object rotate at the y-axis at steady speed. 